as good a football player as he is, he's a better person, and I'm blown away by his personality. Um, I think he's got an appreciation for where he's been and where he is today. And that is Raiders general manager Mike Mayock talking about Raiders tight end Darren Waller. And Darren Waller is just as impressive off the field as he is on. And Darren joins us now live to tell us about how he's using his personal experiences to give back to his new home of Las Vegas. Darren, how are you? I'm doing great, Rachel. How are you doing? I'm doing great. First of all, before we talk about this exciting event you've got coming up, congratulations on the big win on Sunday. I mean, how is it being a part of an NFL team that's undefeated? <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's awesome to, you know, win our first game as the Las Vegas Raiders and to, you know, start our, our time off in this community on a great note. It's exciting to be here and it's exciting to be one and zero. Well, we are so thrilled to have you guys here in Las Vegas. But what is so great about this community, I know you're finding out, is that giving back is so important. And you've already started to do that. Tell everybody about your foundation, what it's about, and the event you have coming up. So the Darren Waller Foundation came about um, as I was, you know, reemerging myself in the league. I felt like it was, it was time for me to start giving back, time for me to use my story uh, as an asset to other people's lives. And I feel like a foundation was the best way to go about it, uh, to equip young people uh, with tools and knowledge to, you know, to avoid some of the pitfalls that I faced when I was younger and the decisions that I made and that they can go and live healthy, fun, fulfilling lives without having to use drugs and alcohol and not being able to give into that pressure. Um, so that's that's really uh, what I want to do with my life now and all my efforts. Um, and the Beyond the Wall event coming up on September the 28th is uh, the kickoff event for this foundation. Uh, I just want to you know, start spreading the word out, uh, getting the energy going in the city, getting people to donate, um, just letting them know programs that we're going to have uh, at, the, at the resort of the foundation and, you know, just getting people involved, introduce them to the board and how we're going to, you know, leave our impact on the community. Well, I love that. I mean, as you guys came to Las Vegas and started becoming part of our community, were you as amazed as I was when I first moved here? What a huge charitable community Las Vegas really is. Yeah, um, you know, my, the first couple times I came here, I never left the strip. I didn't know, um, you know, what was outside of it. And just being in Henderson, just being in the outside areas, you see how welcoming it is and how you can really live here. Within a couple of weeks of me being here, I knew I wanted to be here and that I would enjoy my time here as long as I'm here. Um, and it's just an exciting thing to be a part of. They're, they're supporting me. They're supporting the team. They're, they're, the energy is outstanding. So it's a great place to be. And it's a great place to build our team in the next chapter. Well, I think you know you are such an inspirational role model because obviously a lot of kids look up to pro athletes, absolutely, but when you take your experiences and challenges you've had and you can show young kids, you might be in a difficult spot right now, but you can recover, you can come back stronger and then turn around and help other people. And I know you've done that and helped so many people out with this foundation. Yeah, that's all I want to do. I want to give people a, you know, an accurate representation of what success may look like. Um, you know, with me, I've fallen on my face a number of times. Um, haven't been perfect at any step of the way and still are now. Um, but that doesn't mean that you still can't, you know, achieve greatness in what you want to do. It doesn't mean that you can't have the most impact that you want to have on the world. Uh, just not being perfect just means you're, you're human like the rest of us. So uh, I just want to let them know that it's possible no matter where you're at, no matter what you're feeling, uh, no matter what your past may look like, that there's still hope for your future and uh, hope that you can make the world a better place. I love that. And the event that is coming up on the 28th, it's at Dragon Ridge. And now it's going to be follow all the social distancing protocols and guidelines that people are wondering about that. But they can also take part on a virtual level as well, right, Darren? Yes. Yeah, so there's uh, the in-person uh, event that's following all the state guidelines. Um, you also have the, the a Zoom link that will allow you to be a uh, part of it virtually uh, to see what's going on, to get a glimpse of me, get a glimpse of all the guests that are there, uh, all the fun things that are going to be going on. Uh, opportunities to donate, opportunities to learn more about the programs that we're doing, uh, statistics about the area and uh, children in the area and things of that nature. And yeah, just trying to get people as involved as possible as long as they feel safe in, uh, in how they're involved. Well, thank you so much for what you're doing. We so appreciate that. We'll definitely spread the word about the event on the 28th, and then we'll see you back home in Las Vegas for the first home game at Allegiant Stadium next Monday. 
yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a whole lot of excitement uh, going on with the foundation, with the team. Um, you know, I'm blessed to be in this position and blessed to just be a part of this community now. Well, we are blessed to have you. And thanks for bringing us some good news and something to root for, both, like I said, on and off the field. So, Darren, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, Rachel. Thanks for having me.